there's so much that I feel like I want to talk about right now. I want to talk about how I had a crummy, not, not really a crummy day, but how I'm just stressing out about money and the release and all that good stuff. I want to talk about the Reds. I want to talk about my sick new CD that I made. And I want to talk about Wash Kakowski and American Muscles making a video of us. And there's just so much I want to talk about. I already committed and I said I was going to talk about my powerlifting stuff today. So I'm going to have to save all that for some other time, unfortunately. Uh, powerlifting wise, it's uh, it's good that this week is a deload week. Uh, and the reason why I say that is today was just not a good day for lifting for me. I'm glad all, all today was was a very light deload, uh, and today was deadlifts. So very light, I did like 50% of my max, and I uh, just did three sets of five, just to keep moving. Um, basically what my training looks like right now is that I've, I've got a heavy squat day, a heavy bench day, and a heavy deadlift day. Um, and that's all once a week, and then I've got a, obviously, and then I've got an, an all accessory day. Um, and then pretty much, Everything else is all built around building up my squat, building up my bench, building up my deadlift. So I'll be doing pause squats, I'll do uh, box squats, I'll do board presses, floor presses, um, wide grip benches, rack pulls, deficit deadlifts. Like everything is built around those three movements. And that, that is my only concern right now is building up those three movements. I am not even really too concerned with like my physique, like, yeah, I look fine right now, um, but I'm gonna compete at like 148. So I feel like it's hard to look fat at 148, like the typical powerlifter. So I feel like, I, I mean, it, for me, it's a good spot to be in. Um, as a business owner who's trying to get all this, I'm not supposed to talk about business, but I feel like it's a good spot for me to be as a business owner because I can focus on powerlifting. I, I don't necessarily have to like, watch what I eat right now um, just because this is where my body naturally is. I don't have to worry about putting on weight. I don't have to worry about cutting weight, especially for my first competition. I'm not trying to make a certain weight class or a certain total or anything like that. I'm really just doing to see what it, what it's like for my body. Um, so yeah, that that's about the extent of my training right now. Do you like what you're doing then? Yes, I do. Yeah. I really, uh, let me, let me, I've been finding this in my head for a little bit now. I do enjoy lifting heavy. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy the bench and squat and deadlift. Um, but I really miss the supersets. Yeah. I really miss the different movements like that. Um, I really miss just, uh, just like the way I used to train, like how I came up training, doing all yeah. the drop sets, supersets being sore. It's a different kind of soreness with powerlifting. It's not the same as like doing a triple drop set of side raises right into rear. Yeah. Flies, you know? Do you feel like once you, uh, like obviously now like you've been kind of working through these different programs um, that build off of each other and without having done like a meet, I mean it's just, you know, a lot of gym time. Do you feel like after you do a meet, you might you might feel differently about it you might it might kind of re re-motivate you it in a might, way maybe it might uh but at the same time it's still it, it may not i mean not that you're I, not motivated but at the same know, time like but i don't know if i'm gonna keep doing the powerlifting thing forever i may right. do, i may do a physique show i i have no idea what i'm gonna do it's uh I, I, ju I just don't know right now. I know that I'm enjoying powerlifting, and that's kind of the road that I'm going down. Mm -hmm. I've met a, I've met some great connections. I've met some great friends. I've met some truly amazing people on this road, and uh, I, I mean I wouldn't trade them for anything. So if, so if anything, yeah. it's opened me up to more 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 people, more friends, yeah. more people that I hold close. Even if you decided that you, you know, you weren't gonna do another powerlifting meet, like you know, a few day, a few years down the road, though, would you still want to like every once in a while, like hang out with them on the weekends oh, when they do their lifting and stuff like absolutely. that? Just kind of. If anything, it's more for the friendship and just spending time with them. But yeah. On top of that, I don't think I would. I don't think if I decided to do a physique show after this, or or any kind of show that didn't involve powerlifting after this. I don't think that I would remove the squat bench or deadlift. I think yeah. I, I think I enjoy lifting heavy and pushing my max. Yeah. 
And I think, I think it's, honestly, I feel like doing all the benching that you're doing now, I feel like it's helped grow your chest more than... I feel like my chest has been a really weak point, which is also why I feel like, and, and part of that, I believe, is from that injury. I, I feel like when I separated that shoulder, when I separated the AC joint, mm. that doesn't help, obviously, with the bench at all. Right, but I just feel like in this last however many months you've been training heavy powerlifting, your chest has grown a lot. <laughs> So I feel like it's helped your physique, like, even though you aren't training for that aspect of it, you know? Yeah, but there's also other parts of my physique that I feel like are completely lacking. Right, but I think if you cut out doing what you're doing now, you might lose some of that. I agree. What you gained. So I think continuing down that, you know, at least training heavy bench has been really good for you. 